shortly after arriving in the United States, Neumann married the economist Marietta Kövesi, with whom he had a daughter, Marina. Later on, Marina von Neumann Wittmann became one of the first American women to pursue successful academic and public careers. In 2012, she published The Martian's Daughter, in which she reveals intimate details about the famed scientist and her own struggles to emerge from the shadow of a larger-than-life parent. After divorcing Marietta Kövesi in 1937, Neumann married Clara Dunn, with whom he lived together for nearly 20 years. A mathematician, self-taught engineer and computer scientist, Clara Dunn von Neumann was an exceptional woman and one of the world's first programmers. Her death was not ordinary either. In 1963, when she was the same age as Neumann at his death, she drove her car to the beach, then walked into the waves and died by drowning. Clara and John were very active in the local community. Their house at 26 Westcott Road was one of the largest private residences in Princeton, where they regularly held events. Neumann liked working in a noisy, chaotic environment. He mostly worked in the living room, where the television was always on. He also liked noise at work, where he regularly had the phonograph on, disturbing his co-workers in the neighboring offices, including Albert Einstein. He was known for his unconventional lifestyle. He always had breakfast at the Nassau Club, then went to the research institute, from where he returned home at 5 in the afternoon and continued working. When the Neumanns hosted a reception or a party, he would still spend some time working in his study while paying attention to the conversation in the neighboring room. He was famous for his intuition in solving mathematical problems. When he couldn't find a solution, he didn't struggle with it, instead he pondered on the question before falling asleep. When he woke up around 2 or 3 the following morning, he usually had the answer. He wrote it down and went back to sleep. He enjoyed life. He liked eating, drinking, looking at pretty women in the street and going to parties several times a week. He always wore a suit. He also reportedly wore a smart three-piece pinstripe suit while riding a mule in the Grand Canyon. The American mathematician Churchill Eisenhardt recalled in an interview that Neumann was able to party until dawn, then showed up in the lecture hall at 8.30 in the morning, where he gave his lecture completely composed. He was not an easy professor to understand because he was quick-witted and spoke very fast, making it difficult to follow his lectures and to take notes. Neumann was a native Hungarian speaker and fluent in French, German and English. He also spoke Italian, Yiddish, Latin and Ancient Greek. He was famous for his historical knowledge and enjoyed reading the works of Thucydides and Herodotus in the original ancient Greek. He was an extremely curious person and had a much broader view of the world than other scholars of his time. During World War II, Neumann, like other natural scientists, 
became involved in American military research and also participated in the first secret atomic bomb program. He never claimed that atomic energy was absolutely safe, but believed that the risks were acceptable. In 1945, the first computer, the EDSAC, Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Computer, was completed at the University of Cambridge using the Neumann principles. created the computer's algorithm based on the problem-solving mechanisms of the human brain. Upon the computer's completion, he became the number one consultant to the US military. He became president of the American Mathematical Society and later received the United States Medal of Merit for starting the IT revolution. In 1955, he was appointed one of the five members of the Atomic Energy Commission, which at the time was considered the highest government assignment for a scientist. In the same year, when Neumann was just 52 years old, he was diagnosed with bone, pancreatic and prostate cancer. The disease was probably caused by exposure to radiation at the Los Alamos National Laboratory. According to the book The Martian's Daughter, a few months before his death, Neumann had declared that he wanted to return to the Catholic faith, to which he had converted from the Jewish faith in 1930. He asked the Benedictine monk Anselm Strittmatter to prepare him for his passing. Father Anselm was by his side until the moment of his death, which he greatly feared. He said with rational scientific logic that as long as there is the possibility of eternal damnation for non-believers, it is more logical that we eventually become believers. In 1956, President Eisenhower awarded the ailing scientist with the Medal of Freedom. Neumann died on February 8, 1957, at the Walter Reed Army Medical Center, Washington, D.C. In the hospital, he was kept under military security until the last moment, lest he reveal military secrets while heavily drugged. He was buried in the Nassau Presbyterian Church Cemetery in Princeton. On the occasion of the 120th anniversary of Neumann's birth, the John von Neumann Computer Society announced the commemorative year for 2023, the aim of which is to make the world-famous mathematician's legacy known to as many people as possible.